What's up? Name is Rec. I'm a coach. Welcome to another holiday special sample. <clears throat> now, this VOD review is for Arjun. Arjun is Masters 5 on support. Congratulations to Arjun. This is apparently his support rank up match, so we're going to have a very good time enjoying that on the way through. So, big shout outs to Arjun for making it to Masters on support, starting at Silver this year. So, absolutely amazing effort, mate. Well done. The roast is very happy for you, mate. Me especially, I'm very proud. So yeah, those of you wondering, yes, Arjun got here majority through free VOD reviews and a couple of private ones, all of, um, of which are currently on sale at a cheaper price. You can find those in the Discord. You should go ahead and book one today. Definitely. Seems like a good idea. You can find all the information in the description below to get into the Discord. You can also find a way into the Discord via my website rec9.net unfortunately the website is not reflecting the sale prices at the moment because i can't actually access it because i'm on the road so uh please go right ahead and just use the discord for all references until the end of the year all right thank you everyone i hope you all enjoy it let's get into it so support masters five big arjun let's see what he's doing all right let's go Let's see what Arjun's been pulling on to. We have our Reinhardt tank too. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. It was an attempt. Uh, for some reason, Moira fell asleep. Oh, close to hitting those. Reinhardt's in no help. Grenade that, grenade that, grenade that. Oh, if you grenaded that earlier, I think you could have got away with it, but that's okay. I don't know why everyone is using that direction. It's even weird that you have a Moira who's like just gone over there and died for no reason as well. Oops. <laughs> I saw that attempt. <laughs> there was an attempt to get a long range day that unfortunately Hanzo's dumpy just runs in front. Got Winston now instead of Reinhardt. Chances being taken. We didn't really hit those shoulder. Got that one at the back there. That's good. You want to try and reload before you deplete. Like, if you have one bullet left in the chamber, it takes a little less time to reload, and you want to just make sure that you do that just in case. But, no biggie. Got there in the end, because we got a decent pick off that Mercy, so that's good. Do we a little less wayward with that aim? Those are definitely shots you can hit, might. Obviously a little bit too much, uh... It's getting a little bit too hyper. Getting ready for that. Ultim, 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 ultim. Oh. You definitely could have gone through into their back line with that, but that's okay. He didn't die, which is good. So that'll still give you a bonus if you go ahead and hit him with the goods. Your Hanzo is definitely disconnecting. I don't understand why we are letting the Capello push us into the open. You have cover available. You do not need to be on that position. The big thing as well is that when you want to set up a play like this, it's best to just ulti the Woodson so he can just go ahead and be a menace in the front so that the payload can at least make it to down like along this area. And if Winston just keep, keep doing his thing, he'll just keep changing targets and winning. There's no reason for you to like worry about that outside of just getting into a good position and being payload princess. Your ulti will carry most of the requirements you need for this fight. There's no need to go any further forwards than that. You don't need to be like hella aggressive. You have like specific things that you can do that are very high value with low risk, but which is in this case, it's using your ultimate to put Winston in a good spot so he can not only like get free picks, but also charge his ultimate very easily. We're waiting a little too long for Nanoblade at this point. You could have definitely gone for a second ultimate here. Sleep that. Free yourself. You knew he was there. You heard him. You always want to change direction towards the shield so you can... Da like In this situation, right? Just want to keep this in mind. You know that's there. Right, you can aid yourself, but you should be edging towards this so that when you know what to, what direction is going to take, you can just stand on either side of that and block out. So there's no way that you can get killed. But unfortunately, this becomes a little bit too easy. Now we've got four ultimates and no movement, and that's really really hurting me. 
I assume we just waited for nano blade, so this better be a damn good nano blade, because that's the second wife liver ult we've had, and we're not even using nano, and that's Urk. I thought you hit that for a second. I was about to fucking go crazy. He got a kill before that came out, and then he died anyway, which makes me very sad. I'm really not a fan of people holding ulties for this long. Like, I get we want a combo, but when you've got a lead in such a way that you can easily use that, it just fucking irks me. Nice sleep. That's a very good kill. Well done. Oh, you're struggling to hit that Ash. It's been, the, what, the fourth time you've gotten into a dueling battle with her and not hit a shot? Nice move. Well done. A grenade angle. Oh, we slept out because we thought he was going away, but he still died, so that's fine. Free kill, well done. Get the stagger. Well done. That Torb's on his own. That Torb 100% has to get staggered. Do we find him? No, you tell it left. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But yeah, like those sorts of situations, you want to be a little bit more aware of where you can actually go when, um, with like with using your ulti because you would have at least charged up a second or third ulti by now without the need to waste that time and that really hurts you. That is a flanking Moira? And it is working apparently? Man, those sleep darts are definitely getting closer and closer to the mark and I'm interested, very interested. Good, good downtime reload. Well done. Okay, here's where you just get that really well timed grenade. No, oh, never mind. We're not going to go for this. Come on, surely we just get the back line. Go for the ult. Oh man, why? You hold out for so long for nothing. Like, he has to make it all the way back to the point that... Oh, man. I feel like if we ulti Winston there, that's free. That, but that seems to be a thing again. We've just gotten to this point where we're just holding out. I go out on my terms. Those sorts of ultimates, they really do set the pace for the remainder of those games. Like, you really, like, want to use that ulti. Because, don't forget, it's a building ulti as well. So, not only does it give you, like, a huge advantage for a tank, but it will also help him build his ult much, much faster. Going for the nanoblade, but he's way too far away anyway. We're going for it. Oh, well, we got there in the end. I get, I don't know, you know what it is for me, like, I get the people that are so, like, heavily fixated on the Nanoblade, but I swear, every single time I watch it, I really just, like, I just think that most Genji players are just too mid to cope, and they just don't know what to fucking do despite that, and that really, like, hurts gameplay flow. Like, if you're an Ana, and you can get two nano, two Nanos available by the time Genji gets one Blade, why are we not doing that? Because by that time as well, you would have actually put Winston into into alt territory a second time as well by having that available. That that's just such a like a necessity like a necessity to take. I don't see why we couldn't just do that, especially when you're playing this well. Like you're just gaining all of that charge for free. Why on earth is he playing Junker Queen? That's a bit of an in. I'm gonna be honest with you. Good grenade though. You said you didn't. How did you not hear him coming? You you heard him dash. Like he literally just dashes right at you and you don't even realize it. That's crazy. Uh, that irks me, man. I feel like that was something you definitely could have managed without even fearing that and you just went, nope, gonna just die. Seems like the right thing to do. Like it's weird enough that you had a... Um, a Junker Queen for first point it is a very like silly choice to make there, but like against the pharmacy and having all that free space in the back line, like I feel like waiting for a Doomfist and just sleeping him as he comes at you is the easiest thing in the world to do, and we just let that slide. That's that's a bit of an awareness problem. A 
Aggressive grenade there, maybe? It's a There's a chance. We go for it, but unfortunately we stick out right as that happens and we get completely collected by the Doomfist. There is a trade though, so that's okay. The, remember though, and I tell everyone this every single time, point two is all about holding these high ground areas. Like if you're able to hold on here or on here and just manage like this area from wherever you're standing, it's way, way easier. You keep putting yourself out in the open like that on the low ground, you're not going to escape shit. Like, yeah, it takes a bit of time to climb back up on there, but that's not even the point. Like the whole point is to actually just manage it from range and use that to your advantage, but we're not doing that at all. Like, Blizzard World is literally that map that just, like, benefits you on point two to actually just take that distance and use it to your advantage, especially because your Ana, you have no damage fall off at all. Or healing fall off, for that matter. I hope we're not going to hang on to this ulti for another Nanoblade, because I swear to god, you're going to actually need it at this point, and unless that Genji actually gets a fucking kill, we're going to be waiting a while. Uh, you should have gone for that shot, honestly. Right, uh, Nanoblade versus Pharmacy is going to be pretty boring, I can tell you that. Unless that Genji hits a fucking sick dash, it's not going to be good. Just do it, just hit the button, bro. If you don't use it, oh, two people are dead already. It's like, this is why I hate people that wait for Nanoblade, because we just, we literally just spend all that time waiting for it, and you just get comboed. Like, why? Why wait? Like now you've got to spend what nearly five minutes? Yeah, five minutes hanging out on this fucking point just to just to do this. Like putting yourself under this much pressure is insane. Like I get that you win this to get into masters, but this is this is something that is just so easily avoidable, and we're just we're just constantly putting ourselves in trouble over and over again. I I really like yeah. I can't put value on that at all. I can't put value in the idea that we have to wait for a nanoblade when we have this much of an advantage and we can't seem to use it. Like if nanoblade was going to force out multiple support cooldowns, I'd be totally okay with it, but it's not forcing out a damn thing. Oh dear. Like, you could have at least, like, I'm pretty sure with your healing throughput right now, you would have at least been at double the ultimates you would have been at. But we've just been hanging on to one ulti for way too long, for no reason at all, and now we've got to go out there and try and look for it again because he wants the fucking nano. And then we didn't even get it because he went to peel and he couldn't even do anything with it. Like, does that not give you any sort of indication of just how shitty it is that you can't do anything with that? Like, it's hard enough for them to try and kill off a, a Nano Diva, right? That's good to stop there. Like, you trade an ult for that, right? That's a good trade. Because it stops them from moving and it enables, like, Diva to build, which she has done, and she's going to use that to get a kill. Well done. Like, those are the sorts of things you should be looking out for. Is like, is there an opportunity to get this done? The answer is almost always yes, and you should be using that. And it really irks me that we had to wait for Nanoblade just for him to just shoot it off into the open and then die. Like, even if you were there to help him for that Nanoblade, and even if that did activate, like, what what could that have possibly, like, garnered waiting that long to get to this point? That's so unfortunate someone worked him up again. Fucking hell. Yep, no, he's back into armor threshold, so it's a little easier. What's Genji doing? I swear Genji players just don't function. There, there is definitely some Genji-esque shit going on here. We're just, we're just watching nothing come of it at all. It's just like... It's just a level of crazy that I'm just not like... I'm, I'm just not down with, you know? Because, you like, again, that's another example. So I'm just going to outline it for this point as well. Like, this is another example of you can literally sit on this high ground... Even you can jump over to this high ground and just literally just have coverage on both of these sides and not have any problems at all. But you just insist on sitting on low ground in this corner and you just get punched into that corner every single time. We can't have that. It's not safe. And because you keep putting yourself in those positions over and over again, you don't even get the opportunity to be aggressive from them either. And it just puts you in just a sheer amount of just abysmal trouble. You've got another ulti again, right? And Genji's at 58%. Like, this should have been something that should have just ticked over for you really early on in this match. 
Like, it's really, really showing and really telling if you're just not capable of, like, doing that as time passes on, you know? Surely that's a kill. So if he keeps drifting any further down, he might as well be in the pit, so just finish him off. I like the position, because that means that it's actually harder for them to deal with it, as long as they actually know your angle. I don't know about the... Uh, I really do not know about the, uh, <laughs> the grenade, but the good news is you're actually making them interested in your angle here. Problem is, those ultis aren't really, like, valuing for it. You've actually... See, I just want to put this out there. Despite the fact that your Genji is terrible and we're aware of this, you are at 83% ult, and he just used his. If he held it, you definitely would have had a good Nanoblade to use on this point. And that is what he should be aiming for, not the other way around. Especially when you're churning ults that much faster, you should definitely be doing that. That is a fucking absolute win for you if you're not, like, utilizing that correctly. I want you to keep that in mind for the future because that is a very big showing of just how well you are utilizing your like ammo, bullets, cooldowns, etc. That should be a very big indicator of just how much like how many more nanos you can churn out for free. It's a waste otherwise. So don't fuck around next time. That is a wasted Pharaoh ult. They've spent both ultis for that with it with the retake and you have Arissa now. This is actually so good. If you none of the Arissa, she can't be killed on that point at all. And then you get completely collected. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I thought you were prepared for him. I think that's the fourth time that he's done that, bro. He has literally just like just walked up without you realizing that he's there and you just get taken out. Oh lord. Tank moment. Is this a, here you go, Genji, you can have a nano boost just for the sake of it, because I like it. It's very funny. I say, at least, yeah, Tracy gets out of that, which is good. It's going to take him so long to get here. Just get ready to fucking pop him. Yep, this is it. This is the play. He's right there. Yep, he's dead. Good. Well done. That's a fucking perfect play. You can't even make it to the end now. No one's going to get there, so GG. Well done. That, that was almost really rickety at the end there, and I was a bit nervous because of the, you getting collected a second time by that on the same point. Like, oh, that, I feel like you're just not paying attention to the Doomfist. Like, I get that Doomfist is not great at the moment. Like, there are definitely some things that, like, he could be, like, that could be better for a Doomfist player. But that is definitely a universe where I'd be like, okay, man, do you really think it was a good idea for you to be standing there like that, taking that level of damage? And the truth of the matter is, no, not even remotely close, not even remotely a good idea. And that just like consistently just makes your life miserable because you're just not getting any like ability to do anything in those fights. Like it really irks me that I had just had to like, despite the fact that you've made it to Masters now and I'm proud of you, Arjun, right? Like, don't get me wrong. What you're doing is great. It's really good work, right? But explain to me, right? I need you to explain to me in what universe that you think you need to wait for a Genji to build a, a, his first ult when you could have already been like a quarter of the way to your third. Like, I get that Genji mains are all insane and that we have to like, you know, treat them with kid gloves, but this is beyond the pale. Like, you have clearly, very clearly demonstrated that you are very good at this game. I haven't sat there teaching you for this long to get to a point where I could just watch you in a sample, get to your master's game and literally have the ability to churn out triple the ultis of your DPS and not have you use them. I can't have it. Same thing with KJ. I know KJ's watching this. I know you're out there, KJ. I see you. You should be very aware that this is very much a possibility for the both of you. Just use the ult because if you just get that tempo, that tempo grind is going to get you straight to the end for free. Okay? Big tempo. That's what we want. All right. 
Thank you, everyone, that watched this sample. I hope you all enjoyed another edition of it. If you're looking for coaching from me or you're looking for VOD reviews, just join the Discord. It's in the description below. We have uh, holiday sales going on at the moment, so if you're interested in getting some private coaching from me, definitely pop through and check that out. Hope to see you all in the near future. Either way, my name is Rack. I hope you have a merry, happy, and I will see you again soon. Love you all. Best to you. Support the roast. Bye-bye.